Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your S and P 500 day trade setups for today. <clears throat> so, uh, a couple of things: we've obviously hit the levels I um, gave you yesterday. We've uh, broken through 4,000, but I wouldn't say we've broken through just yet. We have to see how the daily bar finishes before we can say that. Um, but we are so we've touched uh, 39.67, which is the level I gave you yesterday, and then we are flirting with this trend line. And uh, if you want to know how we got the trend line. Just go back, you'll see there's the first swing low, there's the second swing low, and I've just really just adjusted it onto this swing low here. So there, this is an area where we need to pay attention. There is also diversion, let's just zoom out again. There is diversions here, you can see swing low here, and slightly higher, so if you draw a line along the bottom there, you're going to get a line pointing up, whereas price is pointing down. So um, an area that you definitely need to pay attention to. We start moving down through the time frames, and uh, yesterday uh, everything played out like it should have, but it didn't really tag levels uh, for you to get in. So the closest level for the short was up there, which was this swing low here, and we kind of missed it. Uh, you'll, you'll see that on the lower time frames. I mean, there wasn't really an opportunity, and this is a, a key time to stick to your rules. So for me, there was no trade yesterday, um, nothing triggered, but. Um, the short was on, that was for, uh, for sure. Uh, at the moment, looking at all the oscillators at the moment, looking at this pin bar that has just formed. So we've just formed the pin bar, it's after hours, but pin bar nevertheless, plus an inside bar there. Uh, that is a fairly significant, um, I won't call it bullish, but let's just refer to it as end of the down move. So potential bottom forming. This 4,000 is really, really important. And I'm just moving this level up here because these two swing lows here are definitely going to be tested sometime. And that's 40.63. So um, at the moment, what you you sort of need to pay attention to 4,000 because if 4,000 gives way, and I'm just going to go to the weekly for this one, if 4,000 gives way, which is here, that's the bit of um, support we have here. The next level you have really is down here, and that's at 3686. Uh, but heading down there breaks the 155 EMA on the weekly, and uh, that is going to be extremely bearish. Then you have gaps, and then you've got this massive gap to the downside here, um, all the way down in 2020 with the COVID pullback. So uh, pay attention to this. This is really starting to look like um, you know we, we're sort of on the edge sort of tipping point and uh, you need to keep your wits about you okay so uh, on the hour at the moment we've just been training quite nicely down in a fairly decent channel there it is there and I'll just adjust it to that um, so it's really uh, this is yesterday's price action was uh, you know we started off in the range broke the range tested the range and Move down, but as I said, um, if you look at, I suppose the only real one that you did get for an opportunity was there, but if you look at it on the 15 minutes, it really didn't give you the triggers you're looking for. And this was the one, and then obviously you had the gap up there as well. So that was the area was, I was looking for. It didn't happen, and uh, we basically just moved down on the channel. So at the moment, oscillators are pointing up. Uh, we have an inside bar. It's just off a level. We are breaking above the structure, so that is an entry for a long stop below the structure. I'd wait for the US Open for this one uh, before jumping in on that, but um, not looking to go long by any means, uh, unless we start getting some confirmations. Uh, really looking to sell, but I need to sell higher up. So ideally, what I'd want to see is 4068 uh, being tagged for another reversal, another attempt at 4000. So at the moment, uh, you know, if we do reject this area of 4,000, in other words, we've come back to it, and if we start rejecting it during the European session and start falling and uh, sort of just continue in this uh, channel, definitely, you know, so a, sh a short but a very small position. So trend is clearly to the downside. There's no two ways about it. Uh, the only fall on our side is the level, which is 4,000. So 4,000 is a fairly significant level. So you want to pay attention to 4,000. Um, if we have broken it, we broke it. We actually sort of closed below it uh, on the daily yesterday. 
So that could count as a close. Alternatively, and you could see the buyers coming in now trying to uh, trying to drive it up. So um, pretty easy structure at the moment. If we start breaking up above, let's just put a level in so we can see it. So um, that swing low there on the 15 minute, you can see if we start breaking up above that, that's a break of the channel. Uh, then I'd wait for some kind of a pullback, which would make sense back to 4,011 or 4,000, a bounce off there. Then I would expect us to make a move up to 4068 area. So that's the one scenario. The other scenario is uh, we just hover around here for the European Open and then a European just carries on the momentum to the downside and we come and tag 39.67 again. Um, 39.67, as I said on the weekly, is a fairly strong area of support you can see there. So it uh, wouldn't surprise me to see two or even three attempts at that level. Um, break that level, then that's the level you're looking for, 36.86. Okay, so um, simple scenario, really. For as long as we're below the 150, uh, 155 EMA on the uh, 15 minute chart the trend is continuing to the downside and you want to pay attention to these levels so I do want to see us reject these levels could be rejecting this level here at 4010 4011 area but I really want to see a little bit more um, during the market hours before jumping in on that so pay attention to this if this is a rejection during the European session um, by all means there is a short I'd get out of that short before the uh, US open because I would expect some kind of an attempt of the structure at 39.67 to drive price back up uh, in the, during the US session. So um, as long as we stay in the channel, we're trending down. As long as we stay below the 155, we're trending down. As long as we stay below the uh, 33 and the 60 EMAs um, on the 15, we're also down because that just translates to the higher time frames. And you can see there a pretty strong trend on the hour at the moment. Okay, anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. Looking for the pullback, I'm not really looking to jump in down here, but I want a rejection of one of these levels uh, for a move down. Alternatively, I want to see structure here at 4010, um, should we just say 4000? So I want to see structure at 4000, uh, and I want to see us reject 4000. I'm going to reject it on the 15, that's fine. Uh, that'll give me an entry below the rejection bar and then a stop on the top, which will be nice and tight. And then you're looking for another attempt at this level. Pay attention to 39.67. That starts breaking. Um, you might all start adding uh, adding some protection to any long-term portfolios you've got. And start buying a few puts. Uh, because I think then we are in for a pretty strong ride. 3900 is next. 39 and then 3980. Uh, 30, 36.80, sorry, would be the next level. So um, 3,900 and then 3,900 goes, then you're going to move pretty far down. And we're going to be in free fall. And then it's going to be interesting to see what the feds do. Um, but anyway, that's kind of my view today. Uh, definitely looking to, to continue this, this journey down, but very wary of 4,000. So we need to reject that quite my handsomely before I start getting in for that short. Um, if we get above it and we start building, uh, then I would be looking for retests of levels higher up. So in other words, uh, long scalps to get to these levels that we've given you now. Okay, anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.